after 6 p.m. on November 27th, 2012. We are in the parking lot in Grants Pass over here by uh, Dollarama Bargain Mart. We've got our Geiger counter rolling. Pretty low levels right now. They will not be shortly because I'm going to be taking this, which is a sample of cesium. It's in a lead container. It's right down in there. Okay, and we're going to be putting that in front of the Geiger counter on a special platform. Let's see if we can get enough light in here to see the platform. We're up by the window, so we've been catching the outside air, but we're going to be shutting that down because now we're going to be rolling in with the cesium. And it's going to go in here. Hopefully we can see that. And let's do it. And I will put the camera here as we do this. volume inside the bus. The bus has the two baby interferometers set up, one on each seat. This one here has the uraninite sample that we've been testing with. And now I set up this other system here that has the smoke detector what, what do you call that stuff? Amor what? Americium. Americium. So we've got the americium hanging on a ballpoint pin. Right behind it is the cesium-137. Here's the interferometer. Back up to the interferometer. You can see this. I'm going to back up a little bit more so you can kind of see how that's positioned. There we go. And I'll tape down all nice and tight. We're going to let that run for a day. Take a reading on it. We will probably be sleeping in the bus tonight. Tonight is a very windy night out. And we'll be, John and I will be here on the couch. I'll probably do some infrared, see if I can pick up anything in the infrared that's happening on the, the samples. And we're getting our area hit with high ozone to get rid of mold and getting ready to do our remodeling. So we're going to put the volume on the inside of the bus back up. I'll be checking back in. It is about 12 noon, a little bit tw past 12 noon on Thursday, November 29th, 2012. And we've had the cesium and americium, I'm saying that right, here in front of the interferometer now since about 5 p.m. yesterday, the 28th. I'm going to take a check and a reading on that. And we still have the uraninite over here. So there we go. I will be going over to this portion of the bus where we have set up the Geiger counter, their ambient readings. And tracking here, 
So these are some of the grafts. You can see when we've put, this is the americium. <laughs> okay. These have been our trackings here of the cesium. And we're all down in this area down here, not even registering on this chart with the ambient. All right, so I will be videotaping how we set this up and what happens with it. And then I'll do a timed count and we'll go from there. This is the CCM-137. I wonder if I could get it in on this and you can kind of see what's going on with the... There's like a line that's come across the plastic. Can I get that? I think I put that over in some different light here. We can see that better. Okay, so I'll remove it from the black tape. This is the back side of it, looks like. And put it into the form. And this is where the americium is just sitting over here, away from the from where we're at, over here. All right. So here's the sample. It goes into the form here. There's tape on here, and I push it against the tape, and we're seeing the counts come up, of course. So now it's just starting to jump up here and see what we've got. I'm just going to let this sit for a second, and then I'm going to do a 10-minute time count, and then I'm going to put a piece of paper right here right in here and push it really tight up against the form and we'll show that we've got a difference there we have some kind of alpha we, we had alpha yesterday we'll see what we have today there we go okay so we've got our 10 minute is 40,260 and I will now put this piece of paper in between here. We'll be doing this again. Let's go in here. Get that all the way down. And squeeze it up real tight. This is up real tight. And we will be doing another 10 minute count. Okay, so we've started our 10 minute. This is really tight in here, pushed just really, really up against here. Everything squeezed up tight. We'll see what happens. 10 minutes. So this will be blocking any alpha that's coming off. Cesium-137 supposedly uh, has no alpha admissions, but as we showed before, um, it does. At least this sample is showing that. All right, be back in a 10 minutes our 10 minute count on the cesium with the piece of paper in between pressed up tight taped up tight as you can see we've got quite a bit of alpha in the cesium so we're at 26,520 which is about what it was yesterday we're running a little bit higher on our total count so we're getting more alpha after being in front of the interferometer.